All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we are going to perform the casting. We're back in Final Fantasy 16 again, of course. And yeah, let's jump straight back into it, shall we? Make for Riddick's Jump is the current quest. That's the quest, or the quest location. I just want to really quick grab whatever this is. Super fast. And yeah, there we go. Ooh, three sharp fangs. Here we go. Let's do it. cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? The pyre was meat. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Nor. Right. Alright, let's head back then. Uh, Alright, yeah, we can fast travel, nice. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. It should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. Those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people. They're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. All right, black blood. <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me. Uh, valuable can be traded for gl gill. A uh, new quest is available nearby. Return to the hideaway, though. Um, we could do some local quests, but I think I'm just going to ma focus mainly on... What is that? The white-winged wonder. Is that the quest? Why does it look like that, though? That's like a plus mark. Uh, maybe we'll check it out. I was gonna say let's just do the main quest, but let's let's talk to him at least. Um, maybe it's worth it. If it was just me playing by myself, I would do all the side quests, but uh, it's ruined again. You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos. You heard me right. Wild birds. Hmm? The big ones. And not just any chocobos at that. White Heart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. <laughs> chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. 
right. They saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. I feel like they were too. And now, they're back, looking to settle the score. Go on, then. Don't just stand there. Go and help them. Uh, should we go ahead and help? You know what? I'll go ahead and do it real quick, uh, and then we'll continue on with the, right. the main quest. Shouldn't be that hard, I don't think. Or Where that long. I, these I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You say White Hart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. Give those no good bastards a hiding from me. We'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, so the quest icon looks weird on this one. That's why I decided to go ahead and do this one instead of. Um, usually I would probably just skip them uh, for now because, like I said, if I was. It was just me by myself and not recording, I'd probably do all the side quests because I'm a completionist. But since it's for the recording and this game is pretty long, I think. Uh, I kind of just want to ma mainly focus on the main missions here. But uh, sure, let's go ahead and check out this. So it looks, looks, looks like, sorry, we have to kind of just scoot around here on the right side a little bit. Uh, we can't ride a chocobo, chocobo yet, I don't believe. I don't know if we can in this game or not, but that would definitely save some time. Although it's fine that we don't have, that we don't, we aren't riding them. Hello? Oh, hello. Looks like they went that way. White chocobo opinion. Let's just head to the quest marker for now. Don't want to get distracted by ads. These chocobos oh, aren't going down without a fight. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why's that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. It's <laughs> off. Uh... Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> These guys weren't ready. <laughs> Defeat the bandits. A big boy. Huntsman, defeat the bandits. He's a pretty big boy. I don't see why not. Got him, no problem. All right. Let's 
Steel Silk and Gilbug, which we, which we can sell. Hello, Birdie. Is it Ambrosia? Ambrosia. Oh, it is. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. Come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you're sort of the bastard then. I knew you would. You sore? The whole flock <laughs> made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. Not only that. Looks like he fills him in there. Start to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> well, oops. Oh no, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. Didn't mean to skip the who you are. dialogue there. Just right by me. She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Queer. <coughs> <Well, coughs> <coughs> heartwarming. Had <laughs> found the stable would be hearing about this tonight. Stay right where you are. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, why are we staying here and what's the long pause for? Gotcha. Saddling her up. That's nice of you. Some figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ha! Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, white heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. <laughs> hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarm my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> yeah, well, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Let's go. That's what I was hoping. So I guess I get a mount then now? Is that what this means? Please. <laughs> the white winged wonder. 
Ooh. Well, hello, Ambrosius Tack. Interesting. I thought I said track for a second. Chocobo unlocked. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. So how do we write it? All right, mount up. After 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold five? Yeah, five. While in the field to summon Ambrosia and F to mount the chocobo. All right. Red Ambrosia for the first time. Achievement unlocked. Oh, speaking of which, um, sorry, one second. I need to adjust some audio real quick. Because I realized it was a little bit too quiet in the last video. The game audio was, rather. Hopefully this is a lot better. So, sweet. All right. Let's go. Gallop is hold shift. Nice. Rain in. I guess to, to stop her going or something. Then to dismount is five. Okay, cool. Return to the hideaway. All right, cool. I guess that's it then. Let's go to the map. We'll open the world map, obviously, because we have to head back to the hideaway, and then uh, let's go. I don't think it'll let us use the chocobo in the hideaway, because it says uh, in the field is when we can use her. Yeah, yeah. But either way, that's fine. No worries about that. Speak with Gav. Let's do it. Ooh, I wonder if she has uh, the chocobo has some skins. I bet that it does. I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orpha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. Never see us coming. It's so dark. <laughs> it's time we moved on the mother crystals. So there's what, two or three more? Remain in storm and ash. Sure. Drake's oh. breath near Iron Home. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail. Here in the crystalline dominion. Okay, yeah, four, four uh, left. The bulk of Total. the Republican army marching to twin site, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however. Where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the dread magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? All 
All right, I guess that's where we're headed to next then. Uh, I think I will go ahead and end the episode here in just a second though, once we get out of this cutscene. Otto's counter is now open. Okay, so that's probably like side quests and like bounties and stuff like that. Uh, Alright, yeah, so the following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliant reports, uh, the Patron's Whisper, and the Hunt Board. All three are located near Otto in the mess. Renown, completing uh, side quests available through Alliant reports or defeating notorious marks focus on, found on the Hunt Board will earn Clive Renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the Twins to donate money for items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the... Uh, patrons whisper in the hideaways mass to view current redound level and accept any donations available. Oh, that's kind of where it makes it a little bit more worth taking these side quests, I guess. Alliant reports and hunt board specifically, though. Okay, good to know. Um, that might be worth checking out. Uh, we'll have to see that for sure. But yeah, uh, without further ado, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we're going to go ahead gonna go ahead and in the episode here I'm guessing this is I think it's all right to touch him however you get down there I'm guessing this is where you get your stuff back from or what is that does it show us the fruits of her labors oh interesting well yeah uh, you know what real fast I'm gonna go ahead and check that out and then we'll end the episode here um, but yeah let me check that out real fast actually first cuz I'm assuming that's the thing it was just talking about but I don't know for sure let me double check real quick. What is this exactly? It won't be long now, Martel. Botanist. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know oh, it's just a side quest, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm sure they'll be pleased. I'm sorry, Martel. I wish I had your way with words. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and do that in the next yeah, episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next part. Alright, peace.